Hi everyone. So um, we are going to discuss uh, letters in general module task. Uh, we do have uh, mainly two types of letters that is formal letters and informal letters and we do have in uh, semi-formal letters in between. Um, today we are going to see semi-formal letters in specific uh, I just want to uh, give you an outline of a semi-formal letter whom, uh, to whom that we are going to write the semi-formal letter. Um, a semi-formal letter is written to a person whom you know, but that person is not your buddy, your uh, close acquaintance, your relative or um, your friend he may be a landlord of yours he may be your tenant he may be your um, accommodation officer um, he may be the manager of the gym that you're going so it, it's a person you know but he's a person who uh, whom you know but you know uh, but you you don't have uh, a a personal relationship with this person maybe your neighbor maybe the class coordinator uh, who is arranging the cultural programs there at your school or college so it should not be that much formal too in the sense I have to say it is not informal at the same time it should not be too formal so we are not going to write um, to this person with utmost formality like uh, like you are writing to your employer or a dis dignified person or um, a, a total stranger so actually this uh, semi-formal letters are letters which you write to persons whom you know but you don't have a personal relationship with him or her at the same time you're not going to uh, show that much formality with this person so this is what a, a, a semi-formal letter is but What's the style of a semi-formal letter? It's more or, li more or less like a formal letter. Actually, you know, uh, in this type of letter, you need to write a clear purpose after the salutation. So what is the salutation here? So we are going to write uh, the salutation as Dear Mr. Matthew, Dear Mr. Thomas, Dear Mr. Peter, Dear Mrs. Peter, dear Miss Sally. So we have a different salutation. So we, we, we can say dear Mr. or dear Mrs. or dear Miss Miss. So this is what the salutation should start. Then the name. And in this particular, we know the name. We are addressing by name but we are not uh, addressing like dear matthew but we are we are addressing as dear mr matthew instead so that shows that the person is not uh, that much non uh, that much personal that person you don't you're not uh, maintaining a close relationship with that person that a personal relationship is not there or else you could you could have uh, called him dear mr uh, dear matthew instead of dear mr matthew so this is what a semi-formal letter salutation is. And I told you that we have to write a clear purpose for, uh, for, for starting the letter. Now I'm writing this letter to, um, to uh, request or I'm writing this letter to let you know something. I'm writing this letter to introduce something, to seek some information or to give some information or to suggest or to complain 
so it may be different purposes we do have a different different purposes in our letters um, in case you have to write the purpose what what who are you I am your tenant in 15b Lakeview apartments I am writing this letter to okay so this is the format so these two things should be there in the introduction the purpose paragraph of this semi-formal letter so we call it a purpose paragraph because we are writing the purpose of the letter there then we move forward we do have questions sub questions in the letter we have sub questions at least two to three questions will be there we need to address these questions um, in a formal way but not that much formal you can be a little bit lenient but it should not be informal we need to uh, paragraph it two or three paragraph as per the questions then you should have a proper closing to close the letter then you have addressed by the person by name so you started dear mr matthew so you can end yours sincerely because you know the person then your name you can write your name if, if you are not willing to write your name you write some other names and if you are not willing to write any names you just write name and name me no issues there so what has uh, what has to be the content of this particular letter this is another question the content is the questions the sub questions which are asked under the main topic see the main topic is like that you uh, you are unable to pay the rent to your landlord for the next month write a letter to uh, the landlord introduce yourself um, explain the situation and um, suggest an alternative so we we have three bullet points there these three sub questions should be answered in paragraph in order yeah, almost equal paragraph it should it should be less than around 180 190 words because uh, if your word count is uh, more here in semi formal letter it looks more informal and if it is uh, very less say for example 155 or 160 it looks a little bit more formal so i recommend it to be written between 170 to 190 because it it won't be looking uh, that much formal it won't be looking that much informal so you should it should stand in between so uh, actually i don't uh, i didn't say that the word count is the thing that determines uh, the formality and informality i didn't say that I said that normally a person will be writing more when he is informal. I said normally a person will be writing less when he is formal. So that's why I told you if I if I go with a range of 150 to 200 words in a letter. So I think uh, if a semi-formal letter should stand exactly in the middle. So that's why I told 770 to 190 words. That's an ideal word count which we can adopt in a semi-formal letter okay so uh, once again i have to tell that it should not be too much formal too much formal language should not be used in a semi-formal letter there is a difference at the same time you should not go informal too and i hope that you have understood what exactly is the semi-formal letter you have to be very careful in understanding uh, to whom you have to write the semi-formal letter if if you fail in doing that you please make this letter formal so it's acceptable to write a semi-formal letter in a formal style so um, uh, if if you don't know if you find it confused a semi, whether it's a semi-formal letter or not then you you, you write it in formal way okay thank you